Uh, to access SAS Studio, uh, you can um, hold down the control key and click on this link. Okay. And it takes you a to a website which says uh, this site is not secure, but that's because of a glitch. Actually, this site is, this site is um, secure. Click on details. Uh, go on to web page. Okay, it's so this is our um, uh, school of businesses website server. So username, and then enter your uh, password. Okay, and then click uh, sign in, and you'll see uh, this web page. Click on SaaS, and click on SaaS Studio. The first time, uh, let's say uh, save, open, connect. Okay, so the first time you start SaaS Studio, it may take a few minutes. So I've done this before, and um, it's much faster now. So when you first start SAS Studio, it's going to look uh, like this. So uh, on the left-hand side, you will see uh, you will see CPRS directories. However, these are all on the server. So this C is not your C directory on your laptop or desktop. So how do I know this? I double click here, okay, and I click on users. So you will see all these people who are uh, on the server. So find your name, double click on your name, click on your documents, okay, and you will see an empty folder. So this is your folder on the server. How do you upload an Excel file to here so if you want to take a uh, an Excel file from your laptop or desktop, you right click here and then say upload files and then it says choose files. So here you will see C on desktop. This is your uh, desktop or laptop C directory. I click on this. It says users. Uh, this is my username. I go to my documents and then I uh, select an Excel file here. For example, enrollments. It's a CSV file. CSV, it stands for comma separated values. I select this. Uh, upload. Okay. So now, this Excel file is, or the CSV file, is on the server. However, SAS wants a SAS file, okay? So we need to import this uh, CSV file or Excel file into Excel. So we click on import, right click, import data, okay? Click here on settings, okay? So this is our uh, Excel file or CSV file. Uh, we're going to import this. Click on change. Okay. So we need to put this in one of the libraries, SAS libraries. So let's put it in work. Okay. And then instead of uh, calling it uh, something, let's say uh, my SAS file. Okay. I give it a name. Uh, save. Okay. And then I click on this run icon or F3. All right. So now, uh, so I just close this. I don't want to save this. Uh, close, don't save. Okay. So I have this CSV file here, but, uh, but where is my uh, SAS file? So for that, we go to libraries. These are SAS libraries. This is our work library, and this is uh, the new SAS file that I just converted from a from a CSV file to a SAS file. Uh, I double click on it, and uh, it shows me the contents of this file. So um, after I'm done with my SAS session, I click on sign out here, 
say yes. Okay. Uh, close this browser window. And again, I sound, sign out of the server. Okay. Sign out. Okay. And uh, I've signed out from SAS.